Hey yo, what is good YouTube? It's your boy Mesa and today I'm back with another haircut tutorial. I think this is gonna be a really fun haircut to learn and I hope y'all can learn something from it. So right now I'm doing about a mid fade with dreads. So this is how you cut a fade with dreads. So right now I'm coming in with my Slimline Pro GTX and I'm setting in my first guideline. And um, I'm kind of setting it con contour with the shape of the head and um, yeah. So right now, as I said in the guideline, I'm kind of dropping towards the back because as you can see, the dreads come towards the back of his head because previously, like a year ago, he had like, um, he didn't have dreads. He had like a drop fade, not a year ago, but yeah, he like, he had freeform dreads. So he actually turned them into actual dreads. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep that line as even as possible and, uh, that's it and I'm setting the harsh guideline because I really want to be able to see my canvas for the fade sometimes it's easier for you not to set in a, uh, a harsh guideline because it's easier to take it out but if you use the tool that you put the, the guideline in or if your clippers are set close enough then you'll be able to take out that line and even if you didn't even zero gap your trimmers you'll be able to take out that line So right now I'm coming in with my one and a half detachable blade and I'm just debulking the whole area. And as I debulk it, you want to be real careful, especially if the client, see he just got his hair done. So, you know what I'm saying? That helps it out 20 times. But if the client does not have their hair done and they want the fade, please be careful not to cut off no dreads. Please be careful. Okay. All right, so right now, look, you just got to work that clipper in the, in the spots where, you know what I'm saying, you can see it. You can see I'm kind of struggling a little bit to cut it all even because his hair is, like, hidden underneath the dreads and stuff. So, yeah. And the one and a half, I like using a one and a half detachable for debulking, especially when it's, like, a fade with dreads. The reason why is because it kind of takes it to that one guard fully open you know what i'm saying it's kind of like the same length it's a little bit it's a little bit more head than a one guard fully open but it's still like the same length all right so right now i'm just doing the same exact stuff bro that's crazy <laughs> hey my man rich natural go subscribe to rich natural man he um he commented on my last video was like he was like man why why your uh master's always dead I don't know bro I just use them too much <laughs> but I'm just cleaning up what I did I'm just kind of going over I kind of want it smoother so I think I yeah I'm I want him with the number one fully closed so that's all I'm doing right here just going in with the number one fully closed. So right now I'm coming in with my lever fully open and I'm going up a complete inch, okay? A complete inch. And I'm keeping the same shape as the first guideline that I put in, all right? So keep the same shape as your first guideline. So I had to switch my clippers. I just didn't like the way they was cutting. I actually recorded this about like a month ago. So yeah, this is a little old. Always try to clean your canvas when you're cutting too. It kind of helps you mentally to see what you have to do next so if you have a blow dryer if you have a neck dust or whatever just clean off the area and make sure everything is clear and i'm just keeping my guidelines the same so right now i have my number one guard fully open with the lever fully open <laughs> i'm going up all the way like close to the top of his head because the rest of the areas where the number one doesn't really cut i'm just going to clip over comb haircuts like this can honestly expose you but um look take your time bro take your time it's the easiest canvas and it's the one of the most hardest canvases for you to cut but just take your time and I promise you'll do well. Just follow the steps. It's really, it's, I'm not going to say it's not complicated because it is just a little bit. 
but just take your time this is a long video i understand that man and i just hope that y'all watch it to the end and really learn something yeah so as you can see as i fade i like to smooth out the hair while by going down with the grain on the hair and uh yeah i think this is a fire video bro so this is my first tutorial as a youtuber with 1000 subs so look that's like that so right now i'm coming in with my number one guard fully closed and i'm just attacking that line just constantly attacking that line and i'm using my corners a lot i use my corners a lot when i cut because no person's head is straight flat so you're gonna have to use your corners because there's a lot of dips and um and indents in the head and stuff like that so right now i'm coming in with my zero guard fully i'm going like open and close and open and close and stuff like that but yeah my bad i wasn't cutting right there my bad y'all that's that's horrible editing editing all right so i like to do when i use my zero guard i like to use a lot of lever play i don't like to um kind of be focused on one length completely but i just like to use a lot of lever play and so after i take out that line i just start attacking that bottom line i'm going to fully close and i'm going halfway then i'm going fully open y'all can see the time of day this is my first cut of the day first cut of the day and uh the sun was shining really 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 bright so i had to stand on one side of the head i couldn't move to the other side and stuff like that so i just had to make that barber chair work and at the barber shop i cut at right now it's straight windows so like only sunlight is coming in and sometimes it's a little too bright to cut in because it, it, it uh shines off the floor and stuff like that so uh but yeah you can see the fade is coming together fully the fade is coming together and a key to a smooth a real smooth fade is you gotta feather things out a lot so you gotta go with the grain a lot because you want everything to look smooth you don't want it to look choppy you don't want hair standing up you want everything to look real smooth look his dreads look good so the fade has to look good so to take out that bottom line i'm using a lot of level play a lot of corners a lot of everything this haircut i also did do enhancements so it just makes the haircut 20 times better 20 times to me you know what i'm saying with dreads i feel like a haircut if you got dreads you get that thing shaped up and you get some enhancements in it i feel like it takes that haircut and that hair design to the next level i honestly do i don't know why but i think it does and so i'm doing the same exact steps lever fully closed and i'm um, just using my corners number zero guard fully open and fully closed just using my corners and the, and the key to cutting hair is just using your lever especially when you fade with levers you know what i'm saying when, i keep saying levers but when you fade with adjustable clippers the key is just to keep moving that lever and understanding the length of hair by the when you see it and stuff like that just understanding it I didn't do too much uh clip over comb right now because i'm really just still in my fading process and i don't really like to step outside of my fading process yep so i'm using my babeless gold fx trimmers i think they are one of the best i'm tripping clippers that's my bad my bad y'all I'm just coming off of work, man. I'm recording this voiceover. I'm a little burnt right now. But uh, I think they are top three fading clippers. No, I just hyped it. Top five. Top five. Some people can't use them, though. Some people can't use them, but I, I absolutely love them. I think the clicking and the lever, that just takes it to the next level. Because with the Masters, you have to know where your lever is. But with these gold effects, you can click. You can not you're not gonna hear it, but you will feel it, and it's, it doesn't get in the way of your lever moving. So I think it's good. You know, I th I think it's great, man. Like it's crazy because when I first started cutting hair, man, I used to I used to like really think like, man, I can't get a good canvas for nothing. I used to think that I'm like, man, I used to look around at other barbers cutting 
dudes with beards, dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like these Instagram haircuts. My bad, if y'all heard that, somebody was honking outside. But people post, I mean, people have the clients with Instagram haircuts, like a ball fade and waves, you know what I'm saying? The ideal haircut. But the reason why I wasn't getting them was because I wasn't good enough. You know what I'm saying? And that's, I'm speaking about this from ex- good grief. This fade is blurry, bro. But I'm speaking, bro, my bad, y'all. Man, my bad. But I'm speaking about this from experience. The reason why you're not getting the clients that you want, that you see on Instagram, is because, I'm gonna be honest, you're just not ready for them yet, okay? Because you probably will fold. I'm not trying to be wild. Look, listen to what I'm saying. I didn't get them either. I used to be mad that I didn't get clients like this. Like, somebody will look at this haircut and be like, bro, you got the perfect canvas. But y'all got to understand, like, it took me a minute to do the perfect fade. And I'm not even perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like, do it a good fade. It took me a minute to learn that. And honestly, people aren't going to trust you if they don't think that you can execute the haircut to what their likings are. So it just takes time, man. Like, as you evolve in the barber industry and stuff like that, as you get better, you will learn that literally everything takes time. And it's different clients for different approaches. Say, like, if you're charging $5, it's such thing as $5 clients out there. If you're charging $50, it's a such thing as $50 clients out there. So you never know who you're going to get. Just cut them all the same, and I promise you, if you want your, if you want to go to that next level, you will. You will. So right now I'm starting off with the lineup after I just finished preaching. But I just I'm starting off with that lineup. I'm starting in the middle. I was using my slimline pros, but I'm not gonna lie, they weren't hitting. So I'm coming in with my skeleton effects, my never misses, my Mike Tyson punch out tremors, and they doing a job. And as you can see, I went in with the uh zero guard. And I was just debulking the, the hairline, just kind of trying to help it lay down. So I like to start in the middle, bring my weight to my side, and then start in, in the little vertical bar, and I like to come back and work it over. Man, this haircut, whenever I cut them, it always comes out clean. I think one thing that I did that I didn't mean to do, I accidentally put in the C cup and I didn't want a C cup on this haircut. I realized that after I did it, I was like, bro, that's not even gonna look good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a ball fade, bro. That don't even. Bro, me personally, I hate C cups. I, I don't like them. Unless you got like a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hate C cups on waves, all that stuff. I don't like C cups, bro. I think C cups look whack. That's just me. <laughs> Somebody watching this video rocking a C cup right now, but uh, but yeah, I, I just don't like it unless it's for the right hairstyle. But if it's not, I just don't like it, bro. I don't I don't get a C I don't get a C cup when I get a haircut. I don't like giving my clients C cups, bro. I just feel like the haircut just looks so much more sharper without a C cup, bro. And it puts so much more emphasis on the front line. You know what I'm saying? I feel, man, look. Look, I, I just like doing that. Look, me and my client, man, we just be having a good time. That's my man, Dre. He be dying laughing all the time. Hey, cuz, you know what's crazy? Look, I'm recording his voiceover. I'm peeping what shirt I'm wearing. I'm really wearing the same shirt today, and I recorded this, like, a good minute, like a month ago. I need to get some new shirts. But, um, but yeah, I'm starting in the middle, working my way to the side, working my way to the other side. And, yeah, it, it, bro, if you watching this video to this point, man, you're the real MVP, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I probably would have been clicked out. <laughs> but, yeah, it's not, it's not too much more, you know what I'm saying? Like, this haircut is really not that hard to do. It just takes time. You just It's going to take time to perfect it. You know what I'm saying? This is a long tutorial because it's a very detailed haircut. Like, bro, take a look at the haircut, bro. Like, that's, bro, it's there. I just got to even that shape up out a little bit, but it's there. You know what I'm saying? The haircut is there, man. And I, I always love cutting whenever my clients get, like, a fresh retwist. Bro, the haircut pops 20 times more.
saw him just fading out his sideburns, just fading out into the beard. So I'm just trying to even out the shape up as much as I can to make sure that everything is even for the most part. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I'm, I am going to put enhancements in this haircut. I'm sorry I did it so late. I probably should have sped up this this part. But um, I think it's good to see other people shape up processes and learn and see what you can do differently or just tell me what I can do differently, whatever one. But, bro, this fade is so clean. Bro, good grief. So I shaped up his beard, too, in this video also. And I use, uh, and I actually use the Topic hair fibers. I just put it in a, a, a spray like this, like a clear thing. Because it kind of spreads out the enhancements a little bit better, a little bit more for me. So, yeah. As I use the enhancements, I'm trying my best not to not to be too heavy-handed with the I can't even speak, bro. Calm down. So as I re I mean, so as I do the enhancements, I try not to be as heavy-handed with my pumps and my sprays because man, uh, like a caked up enhancement does not look good. Some people do request it, but I'm not a fan of it. You know what I'm saying? I just do it because people like the enhanced look. But um yeah i think if i was to if i was a person to get enhancements on my haircut i would get them like this not too much very light you know what i'm saying and when i go take a shower my haircut looks the same it's just not as dark that's it but yeah look this haircut looks really really good i think this is um if i had a shop and i was putting up pictures on the wall i would take a picture of this haircut and i would put it on the wall that's how much I like it. But yeah, YouTube, look, that's the cut. That is the cut, bro. I think somebody needs to react to me. Chris Bozio needs to react to me. And, um, you know what I'm saying, give his honest opinion on my haircut because I think this is a 10. That's just me. But uh, if you don't think it's a 10, leave a, give me a thumbs down. If you think it's a 10, give me a thumbs up. Uh, all that good stuff, man. But yeah, look, come on, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's the thumbnail. That's the thumbnail. But all right, y'all. I'm gonna stop talking on here. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all watch the rest of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and use that razor and get that boy razor sharp so he can get out my chair and I can keep making money for the rest of the day. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe and share it to a friend, whatever. Do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm putting this out to help somebody. If this helps you, you got to leave a thumbs up. Or just leave me a comment. Just be like, bro, that was fire. Or be like, bro, that was trash. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? It really don't matter to me, bro. But uh, thanks for everything, man. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace. That's so bad. That's so bad. You understand?